Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm so happy right now. The RC update is finally out. And this update is huge. They added way more than I thought they would. But before we start the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pavlov Shack content like this. But anyway, let's get into all the new things that were added into Pavlov. So as you can see, there are finally scopes in Pavlov Shack. This has been long awaited and I'm really happy that this is in the game. It's a nice addition to this update. We can finally use the 50 cal. They also changed a lot of the gun sounds in the game. So here's the AK. And the PC version has had these gun sounds in the game. The Shack version has remained outdated until now. So now we actually have revamped gun sounds. The Bison. Pretty much all the gun sounds in the game have been changed. Not just the pistols, but every gun sound. The AK, the M4, everything. Along with all of this, we have a new pistol in the game, which is fantastic. I'm fixing to be using this every round. This is the Scorpion. Doesn't have that many rounds, but it is a really nice weapon. And also, the Grand Reveal. The Grand Reveal. Check this out. Oh my goodness. That was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal, dude. And those are just minor changes. We still have a lot to go through. So along with all that, with all those changes, we also have hand gestures in the game. So now we can do this. We have the rock. So we got, yeah, dude, wicked. Along with that, we have, uh, we have this right here. <laughs> so you can flip people off and power off now like, hey, fuck you, hey, fuck you too, man. So that's great. I don't know why that was introduced. I don't, that wasn't mentioned in the update. So he had a few surprises in here for us. And here are some more changes, man. Some of the guns have been made automatic. Like, the G3 is now automatic. Which is a weird change, but I'm down for it. And one I've been seeing a lot is now the attack is now a burst fire. Which is a weird change. Some of these changes include the ACOG on the Deagle. I mean, you can just fully plop on an ACOG on there and just go full commando on everybody. Like, what, 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 what? The Deagle is now going to be overpowered. And not only did we get a brand new map, but we got two brand new maps. We got Pine Hill Blockout, and we also have Bunker. These are two great maps, and it adds a lot of variety into Pavlov. Much needed. Thank you so much, Dave. We also got a redesigned TTT HUD, which is pretty crazy. And it looks like they even redid the colors on here as well. Oh, and while we're at it, they also added proning to the game. Jesus Christ, shut the up. Sorry. They also added proning to the game. Look at that. This guy is just proning on the ground. It's fantastic. It's absolutely great, man. Damn! Jeez, man. So the gore doesn't actually work for the other characters in the game. So as you can see. But it does work for the base player model. So as you can see, his arm is off. So that's a current bug or just placeholder until the full release is out. Another feature that they added, they added your profile picture to the game finally. So now you can see your own profile picture. It's actually insane. So that's a great addition that they added to the game. And it seems like they improved the animations as well. The animations look a lot better than what they were. A lot less derpy. But what in the world is this guy doing? <laughs> anyway, the character's a lot more slouched over than they were before. A new screen on here as well, the round loss. There's a brand new screen along with a new UI for the usernames and their picture. So it's honestly amazing. And they added this right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's honestly so much to go over, so much to talk about, man. I don't even think we're halfway through with this. As you can see, they added a new death icon in here as well. You can see that I shot myself in the head and there's an icon finally for suicide on there they also added a new bomb sound in here where if you type the numbers in there's new sounds for that as well and along with that they added faction based weapons so we're on the planting side so we have m4 famas m16 and aug we have less weapons to choose from but we have we have faction specific weapons all the weapons are different except for i'm pretty sure the heavy weapons are the same and the pistols are the same so when it comes to smgs and rifles those are completely different on either side so you're not going to be seeing the same weapons pulled out during a match along with all of this they actually fixed bots 
on search and destroy the bots actually plant now and they do a great job of it um the bots actually plant the bomb and can defuse the bomb which is insane to think about honestly as you can see i have the ak from the enemy side but i i can't buy the ak it's a it's a faction specific weapon and they also added new weapons in here as well this Hi. weapon was not in here jesus bot get out of my face they added this weapon in here and they also added the vector as well they added more guns into the search and destroy buy menu uh which is insane i mean they, they completely they went all out on this update it was well worth waiting for even though it was supposed to come out on tuesday man it came out on another tuesday <laughs> and they also added this gun offset adjuster which actually allows you to adjust how close you want your guns and where you want them when you grab them it's kind of hard to explain but i'll show you a demonstration so as you can see here i have the mp 40 and it's right here on my screen right so if i move the offset adjuster so up and down if i move that and i click apply it's gonna adjust where my gun was so now it's more up if i move the pitch up it's gonna change the angle of the barrel so now i can click apply and as you can see it changed where my barrel was pointing so you can change the way your guns are adjusted now this saves when you go into a lobby so if you go into a snd lobby and you, you mess with the gun offset adjuster your gun is going to be pointed like this which is a great feature honestly make sure you're using the gun offset adjuster and you can also tune it for specific weapons like it has the mp40 you can adjust that but you can also do adjust all guns so you can adjust all your guns to the way you like them which is fantastic more customization definitely what we needed and one more thing that they added in here that i think is kind of overpowered for search and destroy is they added smoke grenades so we finally have smoke grenades once it pops off you're not going to be able to see anything so imagine you're trying to defuse i can't even see the whole place is smoked out as you can see you're trying to defuse the bomb right but you don't know where the bomb is at you, you cannot see anything with these smoke grenades. The smoke needs to be toned down just a little bit. It is a little overpowered right now. The smokes are definitely really OP right now. But yeah, we also have smoke grenades in here. They also changed some of the gun prices in here. I'm not sure. There's too many to uh, talk about on a video. But just know that some of the gun prices have been changed or toned down just a little bit. Another great thing that they've added to this game is new game modes. We have Infection and Prop Hunt. But sadly, these are placeholder. And I think that we're going to have to wait for the actual update to release to play these game modes. Because when you try to start it, it the server doesn't start at all. Uh, prop Hunt, when you try to start Prop Hunt... It does the exact same thing so it's a bummer but hey at least when the update actually releases we're gonna have infection and prop hunt in the game which is gonna be fantastic it looks like dave saw my video and actually listened to the community man what an amazing guy and for our last thing that was added for this update sadly i do not have any gameplay but apparently there's new vehicles there is a brand new motorcycle i was not able to get into any servers with this vehicle so sadly, I do not have any gameplay, but be on the lookout for a motorcycle out there. Seems pretty cool. If you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Pavlov Chat content like this, as it greatly helps out the channel more than you would know. And it helps motivate me to create more banger content like this for you guys. Let me know your opinions on the new RC update down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, peace out.